Kings may wield power on earth, but they vie with the gods at their own peril. That is the theme of Euripides' masterpiece, The Bacchae, which premiered in 405 BC. Now, a staging named after the play's protagonist, Dionysus, god of the vine, has come to China, as Chi Wei reports from W Town near Beijing. Greek mythology is flying on imagined wind to the Great Wall of China. Famed Japanese director Suzuki Tadashi brings us the play of Dionysus with all of nature as his backdrop. This is definitely a dialogue through time and space. And the amphitheater itself is a reminder of the birthplace of theater in ancient Greece. Located in a water town surrounded by mountains north of Beijing, the outdoor Great War Theater has a spectacular backdrop. And Suzuki was thrilled to set his production of Dionysus here. My works are often adapted from Greek repertoire, so I'd like the theaters to be traditional and serious. When I choose a theater, I want to have the cultural and historical elements on the stage. It was the same when I was working in Germany, in Greece, or in Russia. The plot of this play involves divine revenge. When Pentheus, king of Thebes, threatens to arrest anyone engaging in Dionysian worship, the god responds by possessing the women of Thebes with madness and giving them superhuman powers. Among them is Pentheus' own mother, Agave, who joins in tearing her son to pieces. When her madness passes, she realizes what she has done and is sent to exile. It is a confrontation on religion between a king and a god. It is a fight between men, but a woman suffers greatly for their fight. We have wars and conflicts nowadays, and the same tragedy happens to a lot of innocent women. Suzuki has also developed a system of actor training known as the Suzuki Method. He often compares actors with athletes, as both seek mastery of mind and body. I approached the Suzuki training in 2012. Its core idea is actors focusing on their body, which is exactly the training we lack here in China. Lots of people are performing with their face rather than their whole body. Suzuki believes all human beings are getting lazier nowadays, so actors should be trained more to be able to explore their body. The leading role was previously played by a Japanese actor, then an American actor who later became a Broadway star. This time, a Chinese actor is cast. The Chinese young man has an air of elegance in his performance. I think it is due to the rich Chinese culture that runs in his blood. Suzuki's energy belies his 76 years. During rehearsals, he sat in near freezing temperatures in the mountains near Beijing, but he says it's his passion that keeps out the cold. As a fitting touch to a play about the god of the vine, all adult audience members were offered a free drink of wine when entering the theater. On a chilly night in northern China, the gesture is much appreciated. Qi Wei, CCTV.